Hi everyone, Emma here. I'm so excited to show you. We are almost there, almost ready to attach these lovely Rivoli's onto a Christmas ball. So let me just show you what I have so far. So I just finished doing the video showing you how to attach your um, Rivoli's to your ornaments. And now I'm going to show you I haven't, um, this part here I might do with some bigger beads and some little more embellishment, but we are, I'm going to show you how to do this part here. And this is the idea with this Christmas ball. I don't think they'll be going on this white one. I have some gold ones that they'll go on. So you're going to have one on each side held up by these beautiful pearls. These are the Preciosa 4 millimeter pearls. And there's the other side and we are going to create one of these so I'm going to show you how to make one of these and one of these and this is for the Christmas ball and then in another video I will show you how to attach everything to that so these will have some beads going from this section here to here so that will look pretty awesome so let's take a look we're going to start with some 11 gold seed beads. So we're going to do this one and we're going to need some four millimeter Preciosa pearls. So you need six of these. Five. And six. And I'm using uh, parchment is the color name. It reminds me of an antique color, so that's why I picked it. It kind of goes with um, the ornaments have some kind of light champagne gold as well as like a light topaz crystals and um, these matte gold as well. So definitely the, the parchment kind of goes with it. But you can use other colors, not a big deal. So you're going to start by putting six. Where is this? Oh, it's a piece of thread. Um, you're going to start by putting six 11 O's on a piece of fire line or um, dragon thread. I'm using dragon thread. So there's six. And I put... I actually don't have a whole lot on my strand, but usually what I do, because you're going to do a bunch of these for however many, you're going to put two of these for every Christmas ball you're doing. So I make a bunch of these. So I just pull out a wingspan and keep going. It probably doesn't use that much. So, And in this one here, I used matte um, 11 -0 gold. But for this one, I'm using the, what do they call this one? Dark gold metallic sole gel. It's called dark gold, but it, to me, looks like gold compared to my other golds. So, let's put it there. Bring this down to the bottom. And you're going to create a knot. Like that. And make sure that's nice and tight you can leave a little longer strand than I left I'm getting uh, stingy with my thread here I'm I'm actually running out I placed an order with um, Potomac beads and I was waiting for them to have some type of deal and I waited and I waited and I even had people saying Emma by the way they're they're uh, their green thread is back in stock and I'm like yes I know <laughs> I'm waiting so I kept checking every day and they had like a 15% off sale yes probably the best that I'm gonna get for their thread and I'm trying to do this but I suck using these thread burners so let me see if I can fix that let me tilt my camera up here So I am going to try to get rid of that little thread here. There. Okay. 
I'm not going to worry too much about that little knot showing, so don't worry about it. I am going to move down two beads from the knot like that. And I wouldn't worry about the shape of this right now because once we add our pearls on, it will create this shape. So no big there. That. You're going to pick up a four millimeter pearl. You can use like a fire polished, whatever. Pick up two 110 seed beads and one more pearl. So that is what you have. We are coming out of this bead here. We're going to skip this one and we're going to go through the next one and come out the other side of it like that. Pull that all down and pull it tight and you can see it gets and you can flatten these 11 O's because I'll tell you that is part of the design is your threads and other beads are going to come through here to attach your different ornament to ornaments to your pearls or to your uh, Christmas balls. Okay, so now let's just do that two more times. Go through, pick up a pearl, four millimeter pearl, two 11 O's, four millimeter pearl. Like that. And you're coming out of this bead. You're going to skip that one and you're going to go into the next one. Come out the other side like that. Bring that all through. And pull it tight so that all of them are tight it's all just one strand right you just hold that and kind of coax those apart a bit okay pick up four millimeter pearl two 11 o's and a four millimeter pearl and you're coming out of this bead here you're going to skip this one and you're going to go into the next one and you're going to go through the pearl and you're going to go through everything one more time to secure it in place like that and that's what you have so let's go through everything one more time you don't have to worry too much about these guys sitting flat because if you use it to go through it will straighten it out at that time so let's just go through everything Now with this you could leave your thread on it because you can use it to weave the other beads and your ornaments together. Um, but since I'm doing a whole bunch of them, I'm going to uh, cut my thread, tie it off and cut it. that in the middle so let's see if I can get my needle through here a bit like that and do a loop and another loop bring it down to your thread push your needle through like that and so you can see the knots right there we're going to go through these beads and it'll hide that knot. It's a little tight through here if you've done well on your tension. Let's see if we can. There we go. Through. And there. Now, where are we at here? Let me go through one more here. There. And 
kind of is it? That is how simple that is. You can use, you could actually do um, a whole ornament with these guys. Make a bunch of these and then weave them with some kind of triangles and stuff like that. Let me show you here. So you could put, you know, you could start with one up here and then one down here and one here and that kind of thing all over. You can see how pretty that looks. And it will look just lovely holding it. And you can see the reason I picked the triangle. The reason I picked the triangle is it can connect two of these sets of super duos. So with strands of beads in between coming out on each side. So let's show you on this one here how I did it. So I need to alter how many beads go in which. I think I need one less bead on the middle because it's quite a bit lower, but you get the idea. And then you can use the top to attach. So it's pretty nice. Okay, so that's that one. Let's move on to the next one. The next one's a little more in depth. Um, the, just take care of this while I'm thinking of it. You can see how bad I am at this. I need help. Okay, we are definitely going to need a new strand for the next thing. I do, I've only made a few of them. I do feel like they need a little more thread than the other. Let's put that there. Get this one going. And I'll give you an idea of what we need for this next one. I think there's some something thread or something stuck in my needle. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's put those there. So you can see the difference in the shiny versus the matte. It's not a huge difference, but okay, so this is the one we're gonna make. So we're gonna need some matte super duos. And we have our seed beads. Okay. And we need some six millimeter pearls for them. And I'm using the parchment again, because of course it's all going on the same Christmas ball, so I want them to match. And we need four 80 gold beads, and uh, this was the best I could find for matching the color. And I don't know if you can see, it kind of does stand out on this, but I think on an ornament you'll never notice it. So, I know I have more different color 80s, but... There you go. So we're going to start by loading on your six millimeter pearls and a um, 80 seed bead. Another six millimeter pearl, 80, six millimeter. So I'm using uh, Dragon Thread number six. And there. Okay, so that's what you have. We're going to take it all the way to the bottom and tie a knot. So some of these things you could use a um, stop bead, but you know what? It's such a small item. To me, it doesn't make any sense to do a stop bead and then 
weave it in. So tie it in a circle like that. And another knot. And I'm going to do a third knot. Nice and tight. Cut this piece off. I've actually burnt myself on these things. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> okay, so this is what you have so far. So for this design, I want the pearls to sit close together. So we want it like that rather than instead of, instead of like that, we want them nice and tight together. So we're gonna go through just the pearls. So let's go here and when we go through the first one, there's our knot, we can hide it inside. These holes are quite a bit bigger than the four millimeters. So let's just pull that in there. I'm just looking at that. It's, um, down a bit there we go felt it go in okay so skip your eightos but go through your pearls all the way around and these guys should pop you can take your needle and put it in that bead and then pull your thread and that will pop the bead out this pearl sometimes you do it it pops on its own like that go through here and through this last one There, that's what you want to see. Now we're going to add our super duos. You're going to add two, four, six super duos to the each. So you're coming out of this pearl, you're going to add it to this pearl. It doesn't really matter which one you add it to because now you have a square and we're going to create like a almost like a tr um, rectangle shape like that. So it doesn't matter which one it goes through, but you want it coming out of the pearl. So pick up six of these. And I am noticing these are kind of, you have to check the holes. Some are worse than others. Like a batch might be worse than others. It's not necessarily worse. What it is is the coating has clogged the holes sometimes. So I have six on my needle like that. So we're coming out of this side here. We're going to go into the other side of that pearl. Careful with your needle not to scratch your pearls. Um, these are Preciosa pearls. I was super stoked about it, but thought mistakenly that that meant they were really durable. <laughs> And they do claim they are with wear and tear, but they don't expect you to be taking needles and jabbing them and stuff. And that's exactly what I did. <laughs> Let's just be <laughs> straight. And uh, yeah, I put a big scratch mark across my pearl. Okay, so we came through the pearl. We're going to go back up. We're going to go up and around again just to secure these in place. That's a choice. If you want to just do it once, that's fine too. But I did like the security of having it twice. And just go through as many as you can. Usually two is about the limit for super duos because they are on an angle. Now we are in the bottom hole over here. 
we want to be in the top hole, we're going to add three 11 O's and go through the top hole. So that will hide the thread, but it will also give us a little pico down there. So I am just going to adjust my beads here to create a bit of a pyramid shape with them or a pico like that. So pull that down there. So that's what I want. And it's nice and tight too. So now we're going to add an 11 0. We're coming out of this super duo top hole. We're going to go into the top hole of the next one. Like that. We're going to add another 11 0. Like that. So now we are at the middle. We want to add a super duo in this spot here. So check your holes and then go through the next super duo. And that will sit like that. Very lovely. Now add an 11 0, go through the next super duo like that. Add an 11 0, go through the next super duo. There's what we have so far. Now we are going to add our little pico here on the other side. So pick up three 11 0s and go through the bottom hole. See if I can, there we go. And again, we're going to try and get these to line up like a little pico, like that. Pull tight. There. Something like there a bit. finicky here. There. Okay. Now we are going to go up through these next few super duos. So we already went through one. We're going to go through two here. See if we can get through the two. And we are going to go through one more. Because we want to come up to the middle super duo that's at the top, this one here. And we are going to embellish it. So we are coming out of this lower hole on this side. We're going to go up through this step up to the top hole and take it through the bottom hole of that top super duo like that and let me extend my thread here there. now we are going to put our embellishment so we're going to pick up three 11 o's like that go through here and nice little pico. Now we're going to add three 11 O's. We're coming out of this hole. We're going to go into the opposite hole. So we're going to create a embellishment at the top. What you have so far, and we're going to put our final embellishment one, two. That one doesn't have a hole in it, and three. We're going to go through here. So now we're going to bring our thread down and around to the other side. So just follow your thread path. It is a bit tight, but I mean, I find Working with super duos tends to be that way. So there is your top embellishment. Okay. 
Okay, our thread's coming out of the bottom of this super duo. So let's go through the top of the next super duo through the 11 0 all the way down. So super duo 11 0. that and then through here and then go through this pearl and through the eight oh Takes a little encouragement there. So this, I'm surprised this isn't sitting. If I can get this one turned a bit, they look a little bit fussy there. They didn't sit exactly the way I have them here, but. It could be that now I'm a little tighter on my tension. So, okay, so now we want to do the same thing we did here on this side. So we need to make our way over. So go through your pearl. There and through that. Actually, I'm not going to go through that. Let me come back out of that one. Okay, so now we're going to go through this pearl. We're going to add our super duos. There. Pick up six super duos. So I put three on and then I split them up and look at <laughs> the holes. That hole is tiny, but it's there, so I'll be fine. So yeah, I'm finding there's a lot of tiny holes on this, but I think it's the, um, the finish is in the holes. So now go through your pearl. And this was a new needle when I started. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe how many needles I go through. So there you go. That's awesome. So now, like I said, go through it twice. So let's go back through these guys. And through here. And the last two. Okay. We're going to start our embellishment. So pick up three 11 O's. Go through the top hole of that. And let's see if I can pick up this middle one here. There, like that. Pick up an 11 0, go through the next super duo. Le super duo. I'm French, by the way. I'm not making fun of French people, I'm making fun of myself. Okay, so the top one, we're going to add a super duo. You know how many times I forgot to put that one in? <laughs> I had to take it apart. Oh, silly me. Continue putting your going around, putting your seed beads in to dress up your super duos. 
Well, that's the one that didn't have a hole. And this one's massive. So these beads are the ones that I got from uh, Shipwreck Beads. They are check glass beads. And I don't know, I mean, I usually use Toho's. Um, I'm actually enjoying using the check glass beads. They're a little rounder, so you can kind of um, tuck them into places a lot better than you can with the Toho's. But I am finding there's a lot of inconsistencies with them. So I guess it would probably depend on the brand of the check beads. So there's three. We're going to go up through. The bottom hole of that super duo. And let's take that. Tighten that. So let's continue up and around. We're going to go up to one pass this bead and then we're going to come up and around and then around. Let's see if I can straighten that needle a bit. When I try to straighten my needle, it ends up bending it like in multiple different ways. <laughs> So now I went from having one nice curve into like three bends. Oh, you should see the needle I had the other day. I saved it to show you guys, but where did I put it? It was so bad. Okay, so we're coming into the bottom one. We're going to go into this top one and through that bottom hole of the top super duo like that. There. So now we're ready to embellish this. So pick up three 11 O's coming out of this hole. We're going to go into this hole. And let's pop this middle one up. Like that. Pick up three 11 O's. We're coming out of this hole. We're going to go into this hole. There. And our last three here. I'm going to go through the bottom hole. And there, just like that. And that is it. So now we're going to just go through, come down to the middle, and we'll try and straighten this out. I don't like the way that's sitting. So let's go through this little pico here and then through the nine millimeter. Maybe that will. Straighten it out. That's what it did. Okay. So I we were coming down this side here coming down this side with our thread. We went through the first bead of this little pico here, went through the second one, and then went through the 8-0, went through the pearl, came out, and that it's it put everything into place. So you can see this side's all messed up. So we'll make our way to the other side. We'll do the same for each of those. Get that straightened out. So I'm coming out of this 8-0, so if you look at your design, you're going to go through these two and that should pop those into place. I think it is the tension because it makes it quite tight. So maybe we won't make our pearls as tight as we did. Let's 
that. Okay, so I'm going to go up through this super duo, then down to the next. Try to do that without going through there, not going through the seed bead here. Let me see if I can do it on this side. down that super duo there lovely now so my threads coming out of this side of this super duo let's go through here and see if I can get my needle out of here without passing through any beads there. Okay. So now we're going to go and pull this bead here, this little one. the front. I'm going to put my needle through. There's my thread. Yeah. So there's my thread coming out of the pearl. I'm going to put it through this e 11 go through the super dual, come back down through these two and through this and not should straighten it out as well like I did on the other side. That's the idea. Okay, come down. Go through the second bead in that. And then we're going to go down the Edo. And you can go through your pearl if you can manage it. Get through that Edo on the other side too. Let's pull this down. There. So like one side might look better than the other because you don't see the thread as much. So that <laughs> versus this. So that's why I'm doing it. It may seem like a little bit of a kind of OCD <laughs> for beading. But look what a difference it makes. So let's go up this super duo. There, and then down the super duo. Ouch. And I'm going to go down here. And we're going to tie it off so I can get it out somewhere. Because this one we don't have to worry about as well because, like I said, I'm going to make a bunch of these and then um, they are going to be either attached yeah, from the sides like this. So more than likely, they will be attached through that super duo. But you can see how tight I made everything that you could easily just go through these seed beads and it would hold it for sure. 
So then we just find a nice hiding place to tie this off. This is where you're going to, here, maybe through here. And through. And we'll hide it in this right here. And there we go. So you can't even see it. Let's cut this off. Lovely. So there's our embellishments for our ornaments. And now we have all the supplies ready to go. To put them together. <laughs> Yay. So I'm going to make a whole bunch more of these tonight. And tomorrow, most likely, I will do a video showing you how to put it together. And then we'll move on to some other fun things. Let me know if there's anything you're interested in seeing. I'll definitely uh, give it a go. So there you go. Take care, everybody. Bye.